This weekend's our annual Hunters Helping Heroes trip, where we team up with Lake Road Lodge and Hunters Helping Heroes to give five veterans the time of their life. Now the game plan here is we're gonna pick them up from the airport Friday night, bring them out to eat, put them up at some hotels, and then we got a big surprise for them at Cabela's in East Grand Forks on Saturday. When we get up to Lake of the Woods, we're gonna spend two days targeting walleyes and saugers. We're making the run up to the northern side of the lake, fishing in the islands a little bit with these guys. We've got a lot of good reports coming from up there. Hope you guys enjoy the show. We're going fishing. This is Fish Addictions TV. So back in uh, 2013, I got contacted by Mike Olson with Fish Addictions, and Mike got with me and said uh, on behalf of Fish Addictions, they wanted to host their own uh, fishing trip for some veterans in, uh, in Minnesota. This being our third year of uh, hosting this event, we look forward to every year to just uh, getting together with a group of guys that uh, maybe don't get this experience every year or at all in their lifetime. A, just to meet new people we've never met before, hear their stories and give them a weekend of rest, relaxation, and just some excellent fishing. Stick around for more Fish Addictions TV. Twitch it or rip it, summer or winter. B Fish and Tackle's B3 blade baits come alive with a flick of the wrist. B3 means better. Better wounded bait fish action, better VMC split grip hooks, better patterns and finishes, including real 18 karat gold plate. Try B Fish and Tackle's B3 blade bait today and see why many anglers consider the B3 the best big fish bait going on water or on the ice. Find them online at bfishandtackle.com before your fishing buddies do. So anybody from Grand Forks has eaten at the Blue Moose, um, and they've got something there that's a little special. They call it their PB and EB burger. It's peanut butter, eggs, and bacon um, on a burger. We all went out to eat for lunch at the Blue Moose, and everybody started ordering this PB PBEB burger, and uh, the whole table ordered them. Um, it was it was just very interesting to see everyone's reactions to the flavor combination. It's kind of a signature of the Grand Forks area. Oh, it's got a lot of taste in there. Right after lunch, Cabela's is across the street and uh, we had a, a very rewarding surprise party. This event is all about making an impression on these guys that is going to last them a lifetime. And Cabela's goes above and beyond what they even have to do. We were able to give them a good down-home North Dakota welcome to the community and we had tons of tons of community members come out to Cabela's in East Grand Forks and just show the support for what these veterans have done for our country. Stories, friends, served, here or not, we just want to give back and this is our way. We've been doing this um, Wounded Warrior Military Heroes project for three years now. My sister served in the United States Air Force um, after graduating college and so um, when she came back it was just something was different and 
I couldn't really relate because I wasn't, um, I hadn't been where she had been on her tour to Iraq and um, I wanted to be able to say thank you in a way in my position when working with a company that really allowed us to honor our military heroes. You guys might have a couple more things that you want to pick up. So with that being said, it's our honor from all of us Cabela's to present you each with a $200 shopping spree and a full set of Cabela's guideware that's over here. So um, thank you again so much. Thank you. The uh, $200 check was uh, very, very unexpected. Um, it's just, it's really great to see that, that, that big corporations do support uh, the military as a whole. And uh, it's going to be a great weekend and I'm going to, buy a lot of cool stuff that uh, my wife will never let me buy. We're about ready to leave Cabela's. We got a three hour drive ahead of us up to Lake Road Lodge. In fact, there's gonna be another big welcoming party up there that these guys don't even know about. So we've got a lot of the fish addiction staff members waiting for us up at Lake Road Lodge. We're almost done here with the shopping sprees inside. Stay tuned with us, the fun doesn't stop here. The welcoming at the lodge was just, it was, it floored me because I thought, you know, we were just going to show up and get our rooms and, and that was it. But now there was another huge group of people there to welcome us and, and to tell us thank you and, and they wanted to hear our stories. You're gone. Um, but I live my life now to try to bring remembrance to them and to try to honor everything that they have done. I'm uh, Chris Schneider. Um, my story is a little different. A lot of these guys, or most of them, I'd probably say, were actually wounded in, you know, Afghanistan, Iraq, you know, the places of the war. I was actually involved in a terrorist attack. You know, um, we felt like a part of the community right away, like uh, like they knew us, and um, just completely welcoming and, and genuine. Stick with us. This is Fish Addictions TV. Fish Addictions TV is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hi folks, I'm Josh Clausen and this is Mike Olson with Eskimo. Today we want to talk to you about the quantum cutting system found on all of Eskimo's power augers. The quantum cutting system is unique in the way that it has a centering ring specifically designed for reopening old holes. The blades remain sharp through all ice conditions, including dirty ice. Combined, the quantum auger and blades make this cutting system a versatile way to tackle whatever ice you face. The quantum cutting system will deliver. For more information on our quantum cutting system and all other Eskimo products, visit www.getEskimo.com. So the initial ride out on the lake was, uh, it was a little rough. We're all hanging on and just kind of bracing for the waves. And I look over and Josh is completely conked out. This guy's sleeping over here. He's like, no, he's like a bobblehead. <laughs> I was just really tired and felt like a good idea. So took a nap. <laughs> I don't know how he's sleeping through this. <laughs> Double. Nice. The girl. 
That's a walleye. Oh, first lost mine. Can you come off? Yeah. Nice. Nice little guy. That'll be uh, yeah, first walleye of today. We can call him I'll lunch. Win the uh, bet, right? <laughs> Having my dad here with me, being that it's Father's Day and Friday was his birthday, was that just makes this trip, you daddy know? Come and see me. <laughs> Tell his daddy to come see me. He was just the life of the party. I mean, I was on the boat with him for two days and that guy, there's never a dull moment with him. <laughs> it was just entertaining. I mean, he just kept the party rolling. Hey, I gotta get my net so I can catch my fish. Couldn't catch a fish because you didn't have a net. Yeah, I didn't have net big enough. Uh, it was great to be here. My daughter didn't tell me I was going on this trip until the day before we left Georgia. My dad had so much fun, you know. He needed that. He's been so stressed out since I've been injured. So it was just really special, really special. Nice. Let's see what we got. The money fish. Ooh, wow. Ooh yeah, yeah. Oh my Congratulations God. Congratulations on that one. Nice. <laughs> yeah, <it's true. laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Congratulations, man. <laughs> Beautiful. When I caught that big fish, it was it was pretty awesome. I ain't never caught a walleye before, and when it came up that big, I was pretty surprised. Yeah, nice fish. Let's do that again. Uh, one of the highlights for me this weekend, amongst many others, is that I got to bring my son this weekend. He's been asking to go for the last two years. I finally decided this year that uh, it was time he was ready to go and uh, he got to enjoy the charter fishing with us and it being Father's Day weekend made it a little bit more special. Uh, we were out on the boat and he uh, logged into a fish and his face said it all. He, uh, he had a blast. If he didn't catch another fish all weekend, it was, it was awesome to him. Nice! <laughs> Good job, bud. Boy, with half mine, I had to tell you you had it. <laughs> yeah. Jake, hold it and show the camera. We'll do a measurement here. It might be a money fish. <laughs> 24 and a half. You're tied. There you go, buddy. Hold it and show the camera. Hey guys, Anthony with Fish Addictions here. We're up fishing on the Rainy River. The water clarity can vary up here from day to day, um, from low visibility to pretty clear. Uh, one thing that we like to do is use these bee fishing tackle jigs. They've got uh, precision jigs and pulsar paddle tails. It just helps add a little extra vibration to bring the fish in if the water clarity is low. When it's bright out, we'll use the brighter color chartreuse and white. And when it's you know a little bit cloudier out, we'll stick to a little bit more natural color. This one here is a precision jig with a chartreuse paddle tail. We flip these into the shallows and we caught some nice fish. We also vertically jig them with a minnow, you know, adding some extra bulk to them. If you want to check out these products, um, just head on over to our website, fishaddictions.com. Click on their link and it'll show you exactly what they have to offer. So hopefully you guys can use these to put some more fish in your boat. At one point in the day, it was fishing got slow for us. We went over to the other charter boat, see how they were doing, and they were catching a lot of fish. I was catching a couple of little small ones at first, but then wow. uh, nice you know, I laid into wow. the biggest wall I've ever caught in my entire life. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then right after that, I put the same minnow back in the pond, and uh, I, I pulled out another one that was bigger than the first one. It was just, it was amazing. And Ryan, being the jokester that he is, decided, well, either we're gonna get ourselves some luck or we're gonna ruin their fishing or screw up their fishing for a little while. I don't think we're producing much fish on this boat here, so these guys over here been catching them all morning. Are you guys catching fish over there? Yeah. Can I join you? No. <laughs> I don't care, I'm gonna jump over there anyway. Um, we looked over and here he's peeling his clothes off and just dives in head first. I don't know what he was thinking. I think he just wanted a reason to take his shirt off, but who knows. And no sooner than he hit the water, 
Josh set the hook on what would be his biggest fish. Get this fish for us? Yeah, you want to get this fish for us? Hey, come get it with your teeth. <laughs> Grab the fish. He was fighting the fish while Ryan's swimming over, just eyes wide, and it was just more excitement than any of us could handle on the boat. It was awesome. Ooh, yeah, yeah dude. Yeah. It was just, I was ecstatic. It was amazing. Ryan, I know that uh, my 27 and 3 quarter inch fish look really good to you, but you should have just stayed in your boat, man. Sorry. It wasn't as bad as I thought. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a lot colder. Ryan, please leave your shirt on. I don't know what his is going off of, but it felt good. Refreshing. Now, Kendra just asked me what the difference is between a walleye and a sauger. Now, a walleye, you look at them, they're a little bit uh, bulkier in build, and then on their dorsal fin, there's no black dots. They've got a black mark on the base of their dorsal fin back here. It's probably the easiest way to tell the difference is the dorsal fin. And then a walleye is going to have a more prominent white marking on the back of the tail or the bottom of the tail. Now, on a sauger, you know, they're a little skinnier in build, generally. Speaking in that dorsal fin, you got all these black black markings um, on the dorsal fin and less prominent white marking on the tail. Um, pretty the easiest way to tell the difference would be that dorsal fin marking. So, but both delicious fish to eat. And lots of them in the water here on Lake of the Woods. We'll see if we can find some more. The fish addiction guys are just awesome guys to be around. They're real special people to be able to do something like this for us. They they really know they really know their stuff. They do what they do for a reason, they love what they do, and it, it really makes you enjoy being there with them. And it's just an amazing feeling that you can go somewhere like this and feel like you're at home with these guys. Fish Addictions TV is brought to you by these fine sponsors. After a long day of fishing on Saturday, we got back and Saturday night we have a big fish fry for all our vets, uh, people that came to enjoy the festivities. And uh, one of the big things is, is a lot of these guys that come maybe have never even caught, seen, or eaten a walleye. Well, Kendra and her dad, that was them. They've never eaten walleye before. They're always used to eating bass out of the southern states in warm waters. And that first bite of walleye, it looked like they were a kid in a candy store. The first time I tried walleye, it like melts in your mouth. It was so good. Stuff in my face. All right, first time eating a walleye. Um, <laughs> what do you think? It's delicious. Like melts in your mouth. Are you lying? <laughs> no. I've never eaten walleye, and I love fish and chips, and it tastes just like fish and chips. I mean, the flounder, there ain't no better fish than a walleye. I, I'm addicted to it now. It tastes like fish and chips. <laughs> like Are you lying? It was well worth the trip. Mm -hmm. Well worth it. I would like Penny and Brian to come here a second. <laughs> come on, Penny. <laughs> I cried at my wedding, too. <laughs> Don't start. When Fish Addicts started, these were the two people that believed in us right away. This event started with uh, a great couple that own Lake Road Lodge. Without them, this never would have happened. Uh, it's like my second home here, and this is going to be the last year that Penny and Brian are here. When my brother and I decided Fish Addictions, I came to these guys and I said, hey, I'm going to do this, and would you guys love to jump on board? Not a hesitation. They were on board. Well, all I can say is, is uh, I'm going to miss being up here. We've done uh, a lot. Me and Penny are very happy that Mike and Sheila are the ones taking over the resort. They know the resort business, and we feel that they will be doing a, a good job. Well, we're going to, you know, go on with the new owners and and make this thing happen year after year after year. And we hope they come back and uh, are a part of it every year. 
they're a huge part of where we're at today. A huge part of it. And uh, it's not over. We're growing, and these guys are always going to be a special place in fish addictions. I, they're going to be missed. There's no doubt about it. It's hard finding two people like this, two quality individuals that are, are so giving and so helping. It's going to be it's going to be a sad day, but uh, exciting as well when they move on to their new adventure. Hey, this weekend was great. I just want to thank everybody from the um, from the bottom of my heart that that put this on for us. Uh, everybody involved, not just the the guides and the organization, but everybody in Baudet. Uh, I'll remember this forever. I know it was just a weekend, but uh, this this is a lifetime experience. This, an experience I won't ever forget. So my brother. Uh, Sergeant First Class Matthew Blaskowski. We were really close growing up. We were a year and 20 days apart. He was shot and killed on September 23rd, 2007. And it's great to be here in honor of him because I know if, if he was alive, he would have jumped at the chance to do this. The biggest thing for us is, is somebody noticing that, that we've done what we've done. And, and for them to tell us thank you is, is a huge honor. Even though that the, the military is a, a totally voluntary force and and everything that we do is because we want to do it you know we are the one percent of people that raised our right hand and said that i would support and defend the constitution of the united states the reason i'm able to stand here today is because america america's definitely supported me since day one they've cheered me along my recovery i lost my leg in afghanistan and just thought my world was over completely Whenever I came home, it was it was just overwhelming, the support I've gotten. You know, and being out here this weekend, it's just reminded me of great America. I mean, we live in the best country because of this, because I fell and I was at my lowest and America didn't let me stay down.